Pogostamon Quadrifolius octopus is very similar plant to Pogostamon stellatus octopus and according to some sources it is even the same plant. It is four-leaf star stem plant with very narrow and long leaves, and these leaves grow from stem always for at a stage what creates star or octopus-like look that is very attractive for any kind of aquarium. It's originally from Asia, but according to several sources we can also find it in some parts of Australia. There was not that much attention given to this plant in the past until it became quite popular in the aquarium hobby and spread it to aquariums all around the world. Pacostaman can grow quite high to approximately 50 cm, what's around 20 inches, and therefore I would definitely recommend using it as a middle or background plant. This plant is very easy to keep, hardy and doesn't need additional CO2 to grow. What it does need is at least medium lighting, as it doesn't do well in aquariums with low lighting at all. As with majority of easy to keep plants, CO2 input will make it thrive and grow much faster, however as I've mentioned, it's not necessary. Depending on what aquarium you have this plant in, aquatic plant fertilizer will definitely help it to thrive, however, if you keep it in your breeding tanks like I do, with high amount of fish, based on my experience, waste produced by fish will be just enough fertilization for this plant to grow, but fertilizer will definitely help, no doubt about that. Talking about the substrate, it can literally grow in any kind of substrate and I successfully grow it in sand. It can also be left floating, however I would definitely recommend planting it into some kind of substrate or just simply weighting it down to the bottom so it can grow upwards as I think it looks much better. Being a stem plant, propagation is once again super easy and if you have smaller tanks like me, it will also be definitely required. All you need to do is get yourself a pair of stainless steel scissors and clip the trimming of the main stem. Don't worry. You won't damage your mother plant and it will recover and shoot new fresh leaves very soon. Once you have your trimmings, just plant them into the substrate and yeah, that's all. As I said, easy peasy. I would definitely recommend you try this plant out as it can provide many advantages for your aquarium. First of all, being fast growing stem plant, it's really good at reducing nitrates and therefore creating healthier environment for your fish. Also, as all aquatic plants, during photosynthesis it creates oxygen, what will once again create a healthy ecosystem in your aquarium. If you regularly trim it, you can accomplish quite bushy look of this plant, what is very useful for breeding laborers. I use it in my breeding tanks with guppies and antlers to provide cover for newborn fry. Indeed, there are even better plants out there for this purpose, like for example hornwort or guppy grass, but this plant will definitely do the job as well. I personally really enjoy the look of this plant, as it does remind me octopus quite a bit and honestly more easy to keep plants in the aquarium, the more happy I am, so I'm really glad that I gave this plant a chance and you should definitely try it out too. Whether you're a beginner or advanced aquarist, I'm sure you won't have problems keeping this plant alive and successfully growing it in your aquarium. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like aquatic plants like I do, there are also other interesting videos on this channel that you may find useful. If you do enjoy aquarium and fishkeeping content, please consider subscribing to this channel and I promise you won't regret it.